Volvo is known all over the world as a maker of large, safe cars. It's always been like that and always will be. But sometimes these large cars come in a very compact package. Here, we will give you the inside story on how you can go smaller in a Volvo without getting less. In the all new S40. The design is about four words. Exterior evolution, interior revolution. From the outside, a compact athletic car with a clear Volvo identity. Inside, the revolution, a world first. The ultra slim center stack, introducing storage space instead of the ever concealed, never utilized space behind it. Because the center stack is a pure control panel, most of the features it manages are placed elsewhere. The top of the panel operates the integrated phone and the audio system, which can include the awesome Dolby Surround ProLogic 2. The center part controls special functions for the climate system, locks and alarm, and the lower part controls the climate system. All controls are designed to be functional and easy to use, as always in a Volvo. The center stack comes in three decor versions, same color as the interior trim, dark wood and genuine aluminium. Driving safety is enhanced by a car industry novelty, the Intelligent Driver Information System, IDIS. IDIS monitors the driver's activity. When the workload is high and the situation demands full attention, IDIS is the first system in the world to step in and delay signals from the integrated phone and other information that can wait a few moments. IDIS is like an electronic secretary holding your call so that you don't get distracted when full concentration is required. Steering wheel integrated controls for audio, cruise control and navigation system also contributes to driving safety. The short front of the S40 is a distinctive design feature but also presented one of the greatest challenges for the project team to achieve the same safety level as the S60 and S80, although the deformation space is shorter. Let's go inside. The all-new S40 has a new patented front. The force of the crumpling side members is transferred into a frame of members like a zigzag railroad bridge. This allows the side members to crumple at a much higher load. More energy can be absorbed and the front can be made shorter. Then the steel story. The closer the collision force comes to the passenger compartment, the less the materials are allowed to deform. This is made possible through a clever mix of four different grades of steel. From conventional to ultra high strength, they absorb the forces of the collision in an ingenious manner. Volvo's intelligent vehicle architecture, transverse inline engines, in this case with an extra slim design, also contributes to safety. The engine can be pushed 150 millimeters rearwards before it is stopped by the cross member in the bulkhead. And everything else in the engine bay, from battery to brake booster, has its own predetermined position both before and after the collision. To create even more survival space inside, the steering column can be moved up to 140 millimeters forward. And, this is the unusual bit, it collapses horizontally to provide the optimal airbag position. There are more safety features in common with the S60 and the S80, Collapsible pedals, dual stage airbags, seatbelt pretensioners, force limiters in the front seats, 
Seatbelt reminders front, and for European markets, also for the rear seat passengers, which is a world first. The slim engine design is one of several interesting features in this car. The engines are 200 mm slimmer and 25 mm shorter than their siblings in larger Volvos. This is due to several changes. The exhaust manifold outlets are angled down towards the block, and in the turbo engine they are cast together with a turbo unit hosing. The inlet manifold compact cast is rooted up over the engine. The alternator, water pump and the AC compressor are made more compact and then stowed away very efficiently. This is all about safety, but it also frees up room inside the car. There are three five-cylinder 2.4 and 2.5 litre petrol engines from 140 to 220 horsepower and torque from 220 to 320 newton metres. They share the same virtues as the units powering the larger Volvos. Four valves per cylinder, variable camshaft timing and adaptive electronic management. Later, the T5 turbo engine will be available with the same electronically controlled all-wheel drive as in other Volvos. The turbo diesel introduced in early 2004 is a four-cylinder, two-litre unit with common rail, featuring moving rails and fuel injection under immense pressure. Power, 136 horsepower and 340 newton metres of torque. And for the good of the environment, it will come with a particle filter in 2004. The front also includes new headlamps with projector type low beams. These are surrounded with a halo, which helps oncoming drivers to judge the distance to the S40. Bi Xenon lamps are available as an option. Moving to the side, the all new S40 is 54mm wider than its predecessor. This creates added deformation space also in a side impact. The car has the same type of side impact protection system as the S60 and the S80. Side airbags and inflatable curtains. Ultra high strength steel is also part of the side structure. Together with the tubular beams between the A pillars and the reinforced B pillars, this helps to reduce side intrusion. Also, the engineers have created some valuable deformation space in the centre of the car between the front seats. Forces are transferred via tubes in the seat to this steel box, which crumples while absorbing part of the load. Another ingenious system helps avoid neck injuries in a rear impact. The whiplash protection system, WHIPS, is integrated in the front seats. The backrest and head restraint are designed to accompany the movements of the occupant's body in a rear impact. Recent studies show that WHIPS is the most effective whiplash minimizing system in the world. Driving the all new S40 is also a full size pleasure. The front and rear tracks are wider than the previous S40 and the wheelbase is longer. This plus a 68% stiffer body contributes to stable, predictable and consistent behavior. The suspension is independent all round with spring struts at the front and multi-link system at the rear. The rear suspension gives a certain amount of passive steering to counteract any skidding tendency. The car can also get the stability and traction control system or the dynamic stability and traction control system well known from other Volvo models. The extremely powerful ABS brakes with electronic brake force distribution to the rear wheels and automatic emergency braking assistance add safety to the driving experience. The front wheels have up to 16.5 inch ventilated discs depending on engine size. The driver also has access to electro-hydraulic steering with distinct and controlled feedback. When it comes to gearboxes, 
The six-speed manual from the R models is available in the S40 T5. The normally aspirated engines come with a new generation of five-speed manuals, while the turbo diesel gets a six-speed as standard. The automatic transmission is the same as in other Volvo models, a five-speed unit with adaptive gear-changing pattern. Altogether, the technical features in the all-new S40 are fine-tuned to create that special feeling that from now on is a part of all Volvos, no matter if they are large or refreshingly compact.